Well, how many times have we mentioned historic rains? While it's benefited California in many ways, it has caused issues on the roads. There are a lot more potholes these days. Yeah, you can really find them just about anywhere. But in West Sacramento, residents are tired of those pothole-filled roads, and city crews are just trying to work against the forces of nature to fill them. ABC 10's Jordan Tolbert is joining us now to talk about it in today's Tolbert Traffic. Good morning, Bria and Walt. Well, these potholes are actually made worse by all this relentless rain and wind and snow up in the high Sierra in several cities all over the place. But I saw a few posts about the situation in West Sacramento. So I went and talked to a few residents about their experience and the city about what's happening on the roads. I personally have had to replace two tires from potholes in West Sacramento where we've hit them and it's blown up the tire. Modigan says his tale of two tires isn't unique in West Sacramento. He's heard of more people blowing out tires and denting wheels because of potholes. William Roberts is the public works director in West Sacramento, and he told me crews fill potholes as quickly as possible, and they get complaints every day, but it all depends on good weather and staffing. Given this window and the temperature is perfect, we'll be out here actually doing the work that's, that's expected. When it rains, that's when it goes into a lull. It takes time to come back to actually work on this, and so there's a gap in the, in the work, so we, we try our best. Cody Sears lives and works near Southport, a road with many potholes, and created a group called WS Road Quality Accountability Group to help address concerns there and elsewhere in West Sacramento. He communicates information from city leaders and meetings to members and listens to their concerns. The same thing that people are saying is just we want the city to care about the roads that we use daily. Um, and it's not necessarily just residents either, you know, it's business owners like the business that we run here it affects our tenants. He hopes the city can plan long term solutions for road fixes on Southport and other West Sacramento roads. John Zonneveld works off of Southport and says potholes can be dangerous because people swerve or drive onto the shoulder to miss them along the road. I ride the right side over that white line to miss the potholes mm -hmm. and somebody eventually is going to get hit. Robert says city leaders are aware of the issue, but that they didn't happen overnight, rather as the result of several factors. Weather, traffic, volume, the difficulty of procuring state and federal funding for road maintenance, and the tough choices past councils have had to make when allocating local funds between important city priorities such as public safety, ro safety and roads. I reached out to the city of West Sacramento about funding for road improvements and city manager Aaron Laurel told me pothole repairs are 100% locally funded and they're looking for federal and state money to help with more long-term fixes like road replacements. You know, it's a patch job. It's not permanent. So mm -hmm. any long term fixes for West Sacramento coming up? Yeah, so quite a few that they're talking about. They're looking for funding to replace some major roadways as they did for West Capitol Avenue on Harbor Industrial, like Washington Boulevards, as well as Southport Parkway, which yeah. many of those people work or live near. There's also a workshop this evening from 6 to 730 where people can put in their two cents about the Sacramento Avenue complete street plan to fix that road. All right, yeah. we wish them well. That's a good point that he made because a lot of times you drive around the pothole mm -hmm. and there's pedestrians and bicycles. Yeah. It's just extra dangerous. Right. So glad you uh, called attention to it. Thank you, Jordan.